for Laps is that you don't really need to sign up for an Instagram or Facebook account to use it. You can just start filming immediately and just be on your way. The whole interface is really simple, which I really like. You can tap to focus and properly expose your shot before you film, and there's only one button on here, and that's your record button. As you record your video, the app will show you how many seconds you've recorded and how that translates into a hyperlapse time. The default speed is at six times, though you can go as high as 12 times or as low as one times if you want. And once your video is recorded, it's automatically saved to your camera roll, and if you're not satisfied with what you just filmed, you can choose to edit it later or simply just delete the hyperlapse that you just shot. You can also choose to share what you just recorded on Instagram or Facebook. We did notice that the app does struggle when exposing on the fly, so that's definitely something to note. Overall, it's a little different from the time lapse we're used to seeing on the internet. Since the app automatically stabilizes your footage, you can record while walking, running, jumping, or whatever you want to do. It'll try and stabilize the footage for you and turn your videos into a cinematic time lapse. Now, when comparing the Hyperlapse app to iOS 8's time lapse feature, you can definitely tell there's a difference between the two. The Hyperlapse app stabilizes the footage really well, and having the option to choose your speed is a really nice addition. iOS 8's built in time lapse feature is basic, and you don't really have any options to tweak anything. And that's about it. The app is pretty basic, it doesn't require record sound and the footage isn't the highest quality, but it does produce some really neat results which can easily be shared with your friends and family. It would be cool if in the future multiple hyperlapse could be stitched together, but right now the app only lets you share it one at a time. Unfortunately, hyperlapse is only available for iOS users and we don't know whether Instagram is planning on releasing it for Android in the future. Anyways, that's it for this video guys. Be sure to download the app and let us know what you think of hyperlapse. And as always, I'm Mark Linsenga from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching this video and if you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button down there.